All right, so finally our grid setup of Selenium is completely done and now we are about to run our test and see how it's gonna happen. So in order for that to be done, I'm gonna open my existing code which actually is gonna be communicating with our Selenium grid and this source code is actually from my advanced framework development with Selenium C Sharp course. So if you have this course, you already have this code as well. So I'm just gonna make use of this one just to demonstrate. So in order for that to be done, you can see that we have this initialized settings.cs uh, file where it actually communicates with our server. So if I go to the open browsers maybe, uh, all right, so you have this remote connectivity with the Selenium server. So you can see that it says localhost colon uh, 444 slash WD slash hub. Pretty familiar like how we discussed in our earlier videos, right? So this is nothing but the Selenium grid setup and the connectivity is with the Selenium hub itself. So I'm just going to communicate using, I was always communicating with the Selenium grid using my local host colon 4444 but this time I'm going to communicate with our Kubernetes based Selenium grid to communicate. So I'm just going to copy this particular uh, URL and then I'm just going to paste this over here. There you go. Now everything is pretty good. And now if I run this test, basically this test is gonna run without any problem, I hope so. But before that, we can also check the log quickly. So if I go to the Kubernetes dashboard, and if I just uh, try to refresh this guy, you can see that the log is coming and also shows me that there are two nodes being registered with this particular hub. And if I go to the parts once again, you can see that I could able to see the other parts as well. If I go to the logs, you can see that I could able to see the log. And there is a very, very good way because you don't really have to keep refreshing this particular dashboard of Kubernetes every time, which is kind of crazy. Rather, as I told you, there is a nifty tool that we have with our Visual Studio code, which is nothing but the Kubernetes extensions. If you go to this particular extension, there is something called as Minikube, as I told you. This particular mini cube has this particular nodes and there is this mini cube that we are communicating all these days. So if you see this mini cube of the nodes, you can see that we have our replication controllers coming in and within this replication controllers, we have what is called as our actual node being running. If you remember, all these things are something which we have already discussed in theoretical manner. That's exactly what it is. So we could see we have the pods running within the replication controller and this is nothing but the Selenium Chrome and we can see it is now connecting using this environment variable these things and all these jars that we did is showing us in here but there are some other informations here don't worry about it yet these are something which is something it communicates with the hub and also with the schedulers and etcd and all those stuff so don't worry about it. But the other thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you something called as follow logs. So this follow logs is, show, is going to show you that there is going to be a log coming in once you start executing the code itself. So if I also right click and do a follow log here. So now we have like two nodes log coming in. And once I execute the test, it is going to show you the logs coming in over here because the test is just going to run on the nodes is something that you cannot actually see. So in order for that, we can only see the logs and see what's really happening. So I'm going to open the Visual Studio again and I'm going to run all the tests this time. So the tests are going to begin and I hope the test is going to be running. There you go. You can see that it is now starting a new session with both the parts that we have, which is nothing but both the nodes of Selenium that we have and it is running the test. You can see that it is executing the test this time in both the nodes. And the test that we are running right now in Visual Studio is actually a parallel test execution and that's why it is running both of them in the same time over here. You can see it's also running. This is also running and the tests are executing now within our Selenium grid setup of Kubernetes that we just made in our earlier videos is pretty cool right so this is how we could able to see that we could make use of our custom selenium grid with kubernetes setup in much much easier fashion so this way we now understood what kubernetes is all about how we can deploy an application like selenium hub using deployments how we can access the deployment using services and how we can deploy the 
Selenium nodes or the Selenium Chrome nodes using replication controllers and how we can access them as well. So with this, the complete life cycle of pods, replication controller, deployments and services of Kubernetes is completely understood. And this way we can perform even more greater functionality in real time with Kubernetes. So that's it guys, this is how we can make use of Kubernetes for the Selenium grid setup. And this is the great tool that I'm showing you, the trial logs and all those stuff, which is something that you can use for viewing what's happening behind the scene with the mini cubes and the deployments and the replication controllers and their logs and stuff. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day. In our next video, we will discuss rolling updates of deployments. Thank you.